Jackson and the Banks. What do you see in this cartoon? Take a moment, you can look at it, you can pause it, you can also look at the full picture on Schoology as well. I'm going to exit out. Andrew Jackson is the man pictured on the left. What is he doing? What is Andrew Jackson doing in this political cartoon? What might the monster symbolize? So you should have read chapter 10, lesson three, about Jackson's war against the bank and the different opinions people had about it. So let's take a look at some of the opinions of the common people and the upper class. What did the common people think about Andrew Jackson's battle with the Bank of the United States? President Jackson's dismantling of the bank shows he is a champion of the people. The bank is an unconstitutional monopoly that makes the rich richer at the expense of farmers and workers. So monopoly means that one group or one person controls a lot of the wealth or property. So if you ever played the game Monopoly, one of the goals of the game is you're supposed to buy up as many of the properties so you have the most control over the, over the largest amount of properties. You would have a monopoly. And by owning all those properties, you can make more money. So it makes the rich richer. What did the upper class think about Andrew Jackson's battle with the Bank of the United States? The bank is important to our economy. It supports business people who depend on it for loans. Jackson has overstepped his authority by dismantling the bank and putting federal deposits in his pet banks. So you have two different viewpoints on what um, the common people thought towards Jackson's actions towards the banks and what the upper class thought about Jackson's actions towards the bank. We're going to look at this cartoon again. Who is the man pictured in the top hat at the center? Now if you look, it says um, P-E-N-N -N for Pennsylvania. This is Nicholas Biddle. He was in charge of the National Bank and he came from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Who do the 24 heads represent? So there's 24 heads on the monster. If this is Nicholas Biddle, who are these people? So these people represent the 24 state directors of the bank. So they're also part of the bank that Nicholas, Bid that Nicholas Biddle is in charge of. What dangers does the cartoonist think this monster will bring? So what do you think the person who drew this thinks the monster is going to do? What do you think? According to the cartoonist, will the dismantling of the bank promote democracy? Why or why not? So will dismantling get rid of, rid of the bank or the monster support government by the people? Why or why not? Do you agree with the cartoonist? Why or why not? Was the bank the monster? Do you think the bank was the monster? Why or why not? Again, look over chapter 10, lesson 3.